Hey guys, it is another Insomniac Sunday recording session. It is uh, 3.45 in the morning. I've been up for about two hours. So, you know what? Like I always say, go ahead and use this time to get some recordings done, which I gotta do anyway. Uh, so my lack of sleep is your gain. Let's roll the intro, get into some uh, catching you up on some scores. And then we have Rota JC highlights and a Dutch Cup third round matchup with uh, RKC. Hey guys, RC here back with episode 51. Football manager, we are here in the Netherlands with De Graaf Shop, and things are not going badly. We've got a couple of losses here, but let's run down the scores. By the way, if you like what I'm doing here, you like what you see, uh, please hit that like button for me. Helps more people see the videos, and that's the way I ask you guys to support the channel. Also, subscribe and Hit the notification bell, daily football manager content, Monday through Saturday here on the channel. And uh, we have two different saves going on. After uh, last episode, we had the big win over Emin and the draw with FC20. We had a 8 nothing demolishing of Excelsior. Uh, we played a fully rotated squad. Thomas Muller put in a hat trick. Kurdov with a goal. Profit, Jazvich, uh, you know. Just the list goes on and on in that one. Eindhoven, a 4-0 win. Kurdov, DeVos, Dimitrovich, and Resnick with goals there. Sparta took us out 1-0. Uh, I was a little disappointed in that because we've pretty much owned Sparta over the last couple of years. Gronigan, a 5-3 win. By the way, I'm really surprised Sparta has not terminated their senior affiliate agreement with us. But anyway, Groningen, a 5-3 victory. Uh, Resnick, Kernjik, Cervinka, DeVos, and Gerver with a penalty in the second half in the scoring there. Benlo, a 3-0 clean sheet. Gerver, another penalty. Aaron and Grutunk with goals there. PSV, a 3-2 win. Kernjik with a brace. Resnick getting on the score sheet. FC20, we had the rematch here. A 1-0 Pretty low-key affair, and Vicario ended a 10-hour run without a goal. So that was much needed. Uh, again, playing a rotated squad in the Dutch Cup. 4-0 win. Jasvich, Kernjik, Gerver with another penalty, and DeVos with a stoppage time goal. By the way, in both of our Dutch Cups, we played our young 20-year-old uh, keeper, so he got his debut. So two cup matches and two clean sheets for him. Uh, Fortuna Sitard took us out a couple of days after that, and we played a strong side. I mean, you can see the, uh, I think I'm on it here. Yep, we, uh, Kaiser, Grutun, Kwan, Gerver. I mean, you know, there's a few guys in there. Spans was, uh, hasn't played much at all. Uh, but anyway, just a lot of guys not playing well in that particular match. And then we just beat FCM in 3-0. Profit, Muller, and DeVos with the goals. So we're going to have highlights from Rota, and then we're going to play RKC in uh, the Dutch Cup third round. Taking a look at competitions, of course, we're supposed to meet the quarterfinals. There you see the current matchups. So we've actually drawn a good opponent there in the second division. And we are currently second in the league, 41 points after 18 matches, a plus 28 goal differential, just ahead of Heronveen on goal differential, one point behind him in the table. Uh, so right now, all things considered, we are seven points up on Feyenoord for Europe. So things are looking really good. Now we're supposed to be mid-table, which would be where Ajax currently sits. So that is 16 points clear of mid-table, though not much of a surprise that the board is extremely happy with us. Jumping into the club vision, we are still an A-plus with the board. On course for payroll budget, delighted with our standing, pleased with where we're at in the Dutch Cup. 
currently, but that could change quickly with a loss. And uh, the end of this season, or the end of next season, a top half finish, reserving judgment. Jumping back into the squad now that we have played a number of games since last episode. 15 goals for Kernjik. Muller has six. Uh, DeVos has six. Gerbert with th five, as well as Vicario. I am wondering, I think Vicario might be done. I hate to think that. Let me know in the comments what you think. You guys know I love him, but this isn't the Bielsa journeyman. But look at his look at his ability. He is just plummeted. Um, I mean, he was three and a half star here, and he is just down. Form form's been pretty consistent, but it's been consistently shit. I mean, a six three, that was a seven three six six seven. It sure looks more uh, looks more level than that, but there's some some pretty goofy uh, ratings in there. So not not exactly sure what's going on. Uh, I've actually benched him for a couple of games uh, in here, uh, but you can see a six three, a six six. So we've got a lot of inconsistency coming in. Uh, he's only had one goal in his last, you know, whatever. I don't know how many matches that is. And I'm not going to waste your time counting it. So I'm wondering, Muller's not as good a finisher. He's really nowhere near as talented. The other thing we could do is we can move Resnick up top. We can move him because he's been playing that number 10 role, especially, especially uh, here in about a week when Monkl Monklovich comes in. Mom, Mom Silovich. Wow, that's. That sounds kind of perverted. Moms, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I know what I want to say, but I can't say it. We have kid-friendly radio here, kid-friendly kid videos. Um, but you guys know where I'm going with that one, right? Um, what I'm thinking is if we move Resnick up top, then we could move either Meyer or Jazvich into the number 10. And I like Jazvich. Very good passing. He's a natural there. I think we're gonna give that a go today. I've been, you know, I've been looking at, you know, I don't know. I, I hate to bench Picario, but I think Resnick's much better than Muller. I think we may end up getting a striker in the in the window if I can move a couple of people. Speaking of moving people, we do have an outgoing player. Kalichi Okachi, 25 years old. So we signed him. He could play all three back line, but mostly he was going to be a right back. 25-year-old Nigerian with 10 caps. Very solid player. Nothing wrong with him. We paid $4.2 million for him last year, and he started 33 matches. Going to this three-back set, he's just been out of favor. He hadn't, he hadn't had a spot, and he has pitch to fit and in all fairness i can't blame him he's only played twice this year he's played okay but when i look at center back he's he's like number five on the depth chart so he has uh thrown a fit and uh, we have sold him on for 4.4 up front going up to six million and it's easily accessible fees uh so yeah anyway just uh he'll be leaving uh mid window so we'll actually clear up some salary here uh, he's currently on a hundred and nine thousand a month so that's going to actually help our finances a little bit and um, yeah hopefully give us a little bit of money so we may be shopping for a striker i don't know but yep let's get into the highlights let me go play Rota, and we'll we'll maybe try this new uh not the new tactic because we're already in a new tactic that seems to be working well but uh maybe we'll shuffle some players and vicario may uh may find himself relegated to the bench let's go find out what do you think about a 6.39 xg combined between the two clubs I'm guessing that was a pretty exciting game and you would be right look at the cross through traffic Kaufman Puts it in third minute of the game, and we are in a one-nil hole. 
Uh, the midfielders hook up there, Grutunk, and then Resnick sends it through to Jazvich. A couple of blocks, and then Kernjik gets his foot in there and taps it in for the equalizer. Kaufman for, or for Rhoda, uh, bringing it into the attack. White beats Kaiser, and boy, he looked good. Kaiser looked poor, and their fans go wild. Sold out crowd here. They get a throw from deep in their corner. We get it in the midfield, bring it right back up. Servinka finds Kernjik with a beautiful, beautiful pass right through the heart of their defense. How nobody stopped that, I don't know. Uh, looks like it was called back for offside, right? Yep, so 2-1, to one, and then they go up 3-1 to one in the 53rd minute. That was a beautiful play, though. Uh, Gerber lines up for a penalty. That makes it 3-2, and that goal would stick. So 3-2 in this and in the 69th minute. Vicario off the bench finds Kernjik with a nice pass. He gets the assist. Kernjik on the score sheet with the equalizer. And we are challenging again. Grutunk Jervich into Vicario, squares it in to Kernjik. Very unselfish by Vicario. And left it with an empty netter. Four to three. Jazvich takes the pass, beats the keeper, and there's our former keeper, Delcroix, and he got a hand on it, but it was loose. And then we gave up a late penalty. He did the bank shot, uh, hit both posts, goes in in the 86th minute, and we hold on for a 5-4 victory. Very crazy game, 18 shots to 11. As I said, we had an XG of well over 6 uh, almost seven. Very crazy. Kernjik, three goals for the hat trick. Beautiful game for him. That moves us top of the table, but Heronveen has a game in hand. They'll be playing before we come back, I'm sure, for our next match. Let's go play some cup football. Oh, we have some horrible news. Melvin Gerber. Oh. Kind of thought this might happen because I think this happened in our other save, didn't it? Uh, he wants to move to a bigger club. This might not be bad. I mean, he's a very, very good player. Really like him. By the way, yeah, penalty taking, 13. Very good. If I could get $20 million for him, does he have a... Relegation, $71 million. If I could get $71 million, I would sell him. Uh, but he wants to move to a bigger club. Well, I guess let's talk to him. What will it take to keep you here? Yeah, I'll let him go. So, he hands in a transfer request. That kind of sucks. He does have a $71 million transfer fee or release clause. So, you know what? There you go. Boom. Transfer listed by request. Not even going to mess with it. We'll see what happens with that. Uh, we do have quite a break, uh, 24 days. So, I'm going to pause the recording while I get up to that. And if I have any other news on the transfer front, which opens here in just about a week, well, it's been an interesting start to the transfer window. We haven't made a ton of moves. There's been a lot of inquiries, a lot of rejections. Uh, so let's take a quick look. Uh, we already mentioned Okashi was out for $6 million. Uh, we knew that was coming. Uh, and then we have uh, sold a couple of young players, uh, Chet and Im Imoglu to Emin for 93000 potentially, and Gerson Pandoy. We're up to 85,000. Nothing really big there. A couple of younger players. Uh, Imaglu was 18 years old, a goalkeeper. Uh, three and a half star potential. Not bad. I probably should have got more for him, but it is what it is. And then Pandoy was a center back, uh, but just hasn't really developed. Still only 17, but three star potential. I thought there was. Plenty of people in the pipeline to let him go. Uh, we are welcoming Jordi Mon 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 Momsilovic. I'm keep going somewhere else. 
Uh, and I think it's Jordy. I think the D is silent. I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong. But uh, we're going to go with Jordy Momsilovich. And if I don't call him the wrong name, but you can see uh, four and a half star current ability can get to five star potential. And he is going to make his debut for us in the cup match today. Uh, taking a look in the transfer center for outs, uh, Jerry Benat has gotten several offers. Uh, we rejected one for 650. Uh, he's an 18 year old goalkeeper. Uh, Dries Jaspers, another keeper. Uh, we've received several offers. They've all come in at 19 and a quarter after negotiation, so he's probably gone. Uh, we did reject a bunch of loan offers, uh, uh, transfer offers for Gerber. I think the highest one was about $35 million. Uh, We had gotten like four offers, uh, but he has a release clause of 71 So I told him, I said, you know, some of these are really big clubs. If we take a look at him, uh, he is wanted by a who's who, a Bayern Munich, Eintracht Frankfurt, Ajax, Union Berlin, Salzburg. Uh, there were a couple of other clubs in there for him as well. Uh, so they're going to have to come up with some money. Uh, I, I don't, I'm not going to have a problem selling him. I will, but, um, you know, sometimes you just have to do that. Uh, but he has actually handed in a transfer request. Uh, Elvis Barisic, uh, we have two offers on him. Another one of those guys that played for us in the past just uh, has kind of lost uh, his spot because of the the changeover. We paid six hundred thousand for him. Uh, we have accepted a bid for five twenty five, and he will be leaving us tomorrow for Hashduck and Kamal Gur. A lot of time out on loan during this save, 20 years old. We have two offers on him, and we have accepted one up to 300000 from Denbesh. And uh, he will be leaving us as long as he takes that offer. So, looking at today's match, we're going to go with Kaiser in goal, Gerber, Dimitrovich, Kurtov back into full fitness. Uh, for the most part, on the back line, Cervenka, Momsilovich making his debut, Grutunk and DeVos, Jazvich, as we talked about, going up into that number 10, which allows Resnick to join Kernjik on the front line, and that moves Vicario to the bench. Meyer also finds himself on the bench. Uh, he is wanted by PSG. We've transfer listed him at 13 and a quarter million, which is his release clause. Um, they're going to have to match that if they want him. I don't mind getting rid of him. I think he's really underperformed, but, um, yeah, you know, you know what? I think we're going to have to pull Gerber. Let's bring Kaisela on for him. Just to, you know, for this one, we'll get him in there. All right. Submit the team. You got to remember we are coming back from, Ooh, he gets number seven. Good job. Uh, we are coming back from the long break, the winter break, uh, so it's not surprising we've got a little bit of a fitness concern. All right, we're going to go with early encouragement here. And Kilwick is, uh, what, aren't they our perennial cup opponent? <laughs> and there's a header from the near post. Kurtov goes up for it, sends it high. That is our first attempt. Look at DeVos. What a move to get past Van Bergen. And he is in the box. Uh, and Cervenka couldn't get there, but he chases down the ball, plays it back in. Nothing comes of it. But we're looking dangerous. We're looking dangerous. And then, of course, I'm going to have a panic moment. Look at this crap. Ugh. Near post, Kaiser luckily makes the save. Boy, the defense got ripped apart on that one. And that sets up a corner headed out. DeVos is on it. Good run into space. Resnick's up there. Give him somebody. And it's just booted out into the stands by the defense. DeVos needs to play that ball in, fellas. Momsilovich, near post. Knocked down. Zervinka's there. Got an offer for him, too. Nothing, uh, nothing impressive uh, he's valued i think at a million 
Oh, we do have a uh, we have a bid in on a number ten uh, to give us another option there, especially if we're looking to move. Uh, you know, our our one numbered. Oh, what a finish by Cervinka! His third goal, Jean Devos with the assist. That was a nice little finish right across the top of the box, and he finds the edge of the goal. Gotta like that. One nil, twentieth minute. A gashed upper leg. All right, he's not showing any ill effects. He is getting tired. Uh, we'll have to keep an eye on that. Back post falls down and cleared off the line. Ooh, that was a little nervy there. Rutunk is playing well, but again, I'm just kind of keeping an eye on his fitness with that gashed leg. There's up to Resnick. Can anybody support him? No, nothing there. There might have been a deflection on there. Nothing, nothing coming from it. If he is still yellow at the half here, which it looks like he is, go ahead and pull him off. I'm going to bring on Ozdemir. Cloney, we're going to do that. Get complacent. Oh, they didn't like that one. All right, Grutunk makes it through 45 minutes. We're again controlling this match, but only the one goal advantage. There's Mom Silovic again. Dimitrovic. Erdov back in action, of course. Oh, here's Ozemir. Nice little outlet ball. DeVos. Crossed in, and the touch by Kernjik. Uh, Kernjik, by the way, 19th goal on the season. We did get a bid on him, and uh, <coughs> it wasn't enough for me to want to sell him, but it was enough to get his attention. We had two two teams come in, and he wanted to talk to them, so I had to offer him a new contract, give him a pay raise, and uh, so he went from a in the sixty thousand a month range to a hundred and one thousand. Oh, nobody marketing. Come on, Ersterling. Good tackle by Kurdov. Clears it upfield. The Vos is on it. Charges up into through the middle of the field. He is untouched. And oh, he should have gone to the keeper's right. Come on, boys. Got to do a little bit better than that. It is 2 0 near post. Yeah, we don't do that. Uh, Dimitrovich gets beaten by Kalala. Cuts the angle, though. Oh, uh, good tackle in there by Kaisela. And then Kurdov heads it clear of the box. Good defensive work there. Very nice. Uh, Momsilovich, one touch to control it. Through to Kernjik, into Resnik, and there's the goal. His fifth of the season. Kernjik and Resnik. Counterattack, 3-0. Go ahead and make a couple of subs here. Uh, DeVos is playing well, but he is tired and on a yellow, as is Cervinka. Let's bring on Profit for him. We're just going to make the one sub right now. But 3 nothing. I think that's going to, you know, we've certainly given up three goals in a match, but typically not. Well, I'm not even going to say it because that would just be pushing my luck, I'm afraid. Big outlet to Halovich. Kaisela, and it's shot wide. 17 shots to five. <coughs> we are looking pretty solid here. So we we are seeing that, the, you know, we are scoring goals with this tactic. A, a little leaky with the three at the back. But, again, it, it fits into that two-striker attack that I'm really liking here in FM20. And I think we've seen either the two-striker or the no-striker is kind of the new uh, tactic du jour, I suppose. And there goes the clean sheet, disappointing. Uh, if you played with a strikerless tactic, let me know in the comments. Just curious uh, what you thought about it, how it worked for you. 
I have not, uh, I haven't even looked at it yet, so not sure. All right, Momsilovich is complacent. Everybody on the back's having a good game. We'll go, we'll go ahead and rest, uh, rest him. Do I want to bring on two strikers are playing well? Actually, Jazvich, if who could I bring on for him? Can I bring Muller up there? Let's see what Muller looks like as a can't pass great. What I could do, I could do that. I could drop Resnick back to the number 10. That puts Muller up top. Let's do that. All right. I am going to probably, oh, cleared off the line. Uh, I'm going to demand more, try to keep him focused and fired up. DeVos is tired, but he's sitting on two assists. We don't call it a hat trick for three assists, do we? Nice outlet ball. A good touch. Muller trying to find some space and gives it away in the middle of the field. Needs to do a little bit better than that. All right, come on, boys. Oh, nice through ball and profit. Oh, he, he needed to finish that. Needed to be in the net. That was some good vision by Resnick to make that pass. He got an offer on him as well. Another header. Holy smokes. We've conceded two. Uh, well, we hold on for the 3-2 win. A little more nerve-wracking than it probably should have been. The defense played well here. I'm I'm wondering. He's got a 13 in passing. He's only got a 9. No, I might need to turn these guys off of ball playing defender. All right. Um that was a bit of a let off. Yep. That's what I'm going to go with. Sold out crowd there it looked like. 8-0 Breda over Detreffers. Is that a cup match, you think? Oh, yeah. I guess today was a cup match. So we win in the third round. Rutunk's out for two weeks with that. Momsilovich with his debut. We pick up $200,000. DeVos with some good passing. So we will tell him that. All right. Well, we do have some transfer business percolating around. I am, um, if I do get a big bid for Gerber. I will certainly be looking at a center back for him. Now we have, we have some guys back there. So right now it's Kurdov, Kaisela, and Gerber. Dimitrovic is playing a lot. Uh, Van, Van Beckel could be in there, but he wants to leave. Uh, we also have young Juan uh, that could probably step in there. Marcella although not a natural center back, but he could do the job. So we've got some guys that can step up if we need to, but I would probably like to look at replacing, I mean, Kurdov, Kaisela, Dimitrovich, I think we'd be all right, but I'd like to get one more guy in the mix. I'm contemplating another striker as well, but it's, we're going to have to wait and see who is out. Taking a look at goals, there you go, Kernjik on 19. I would hate to lose Gerber, man. That would just be horrible. Um, but he's kind of got his mindset on it. Resnick now on five goals, um, playing a 6-6-4. We just need something better. Five and 15 uh, from Vicario. Yeah, I just, I just don't know what we're going to do here. I think we need another striker up top. I think Vicario might have... Uh, might have burned out here. I think he's just reached the height of his ability. <coughs> We're starting to see a drop off. So that's going to be something we'll have to keep an eye on. Is what it is. Uh, looking ahead, uh, I think uh, we probably come back for 
I think we'll come back for uh, quarterfinal highlights. We'll play Heronveen on camera, and then we'll figure it out from there. Again, because we're supposed to be, reach the quarterfinal, I think this is going to be an important match. In fact, let's see if we have the draw coming up. I don't see it appearing on here for when the draw is. Typically, it's within a day or two. No idea. All right, there's the confirmation. Barisic has left, and we have rejected that offer. All right, well, guys, hit that like button for me. Subscribe if you're new. And, uh, hey, daily football manager content, Monday through Saturday. Hope you guys keep coming back. Thanks so much. Bye.